this question is checking to see if we're able to um, change around formulae and expressions. Um, so can we do some factorising, can we solve some equations and can we rearrange some equations? So factorising just means can we spot a common factor, something that you have to times um, something by to get um, a, an expression here. So let's explain that. We've got 3e squared plus 5e. We notice that we've got an e on both sides of the plus, so that's our common factor. So we'll write that down. Then I'm going to put some brackets and our plus sign in. We have to think, what do we times e by to get 3e squared? And what do we times e by to get 5e? Well, e squared is e times e, so we've got to have e times e. And to get 3e squared, we'll have to times e by 3e. Then we've got 5e over here. If we want to get 5e starting from just 1e, we've got to times e by 5. So factorising means find the common factor, the thing on both sides, write that down, put some brackets, and then write down what you have to times that common factor by um, to get the things on both sides. Um, so that should be your answer just here for one mark. Then we've got to solve an equation for k. So um, if we remember the order that we do things is bid mass, which stands for brackets first. Well, we've got some brackets here. That's the first thing we're going to do. Then indices, so squares, cubed, those sorts of things. We haven't got any of those to worry about. Then divide, none of those to worry about. Multiply, um, yet we've got some of those um, addition and subtraction, so they come last. So let's do our brackets first. So we multiply out these brackets, which gives us 7k, just here. And then 7 times minus 3 is 21, minus 21. And on the right side of the equals, we've got 3k minus 5. So I want all the k's on one side and all the numbers on the other side. So let's try and get all the k's on this side. I want to get rid of this 3k. So to this side of the equation, I'm going to minus 3k. So I've got 3k minus 3k is no k. So I'm going to have minus 5 on here, just on its own. But if I take away my, um, 3k from one side of the equals, I have to take away 3k from the other side of the equals. So that will be 7k minus 3k. 7 minus 3 is 4, so 4k minus 21 equals minus 5. It's made it a bit simpler, but remember the rules are if you do one thing to one side of your equation, you have to do the same thing to the other side of the equal sign. Now I want to do the same sort of thing, but so we've only got numbers on one side and k's on the other, so I want to get rid of this 21. So to get rid of a minus 21, I'm going to add on 21. So I can do 4k minus 21 plus 21 is just 4k. If I've added on 21 to the left-hand side, I need to add on 21 to the right-hand side. So minus 5 plus 21 is the same as 21 minus 5, which is 16. So now I just want k on its own. Um, oops. It's not a very good k. Um, so if I just want k on its own, I have to divide this by 4, which means I have to divide this by 4. So 16 divided by 4 is 4. So your answer, k, is 4. One more to go. We've got an expression here, a formula for f. We're not interested in f. We want to find out what a is. We don't care what f and a are. We just um, want to be able to move around this equation. So let's start by writing out our equation, f equals a plus 1 over 2. So the over 2 means divided by 2. So to get rid of the divided by 2, I'm going to times this side by 2. So I'm just going to get a plus 1 on its own. But if I times this side by 2, I have to times this side by 2. So that's going to be 2f. Then I've almost got a on its own. But to get rid of that plus 1, I'm going to take away 1. So I've got a on its own here. And then it's going to be 2f minus 1. Because I've taken away 1 to the right, I need to take away 1 to the left. So a is 2f minus 1. That should be your answer. So if you've understood this, there should be... Huh, if my computer wakes up, come on. Um, there's a link down in the description of, the, of this video uh, with three more questions, similar questions, to be able to work through. Um, I hope this has been useful. Yep, here's the link just here, but it should be in the description of the YouTube video.